In this problem, we're given some information about a line, and we're asked for two things. We're asked for the point slope form and the slope intercept form. So we'll start by writing down the formula we need to do this problem here with the point slope form. So whenever you want the point slope form, you have to use what's called the point slope formula, which is y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. This is a super important formula, not just in problems like this, but like if you go on to uh, like calculus and stuff like that, this formula becomes extremely useful. It's like beyond useful. So this is the point slope formula. Okay, so now we just have to plug everything in. So the x1 and the y1, that's a point. And it looks like they give us that in the problem, so x1, y1. Then we need to find the slope, which is m. But they don't give us that. They give us the x-intercept. So we need to find m. So the trick is to realize that the x-intercept being equal to negative 2 really means that it's the point negative 2, comma, 0, right? Because the x-intercept, if you think about the graph, it's right here, right? So the y-coordinate is 0. So that's how you know there's a 0 there, okay? So whenever it's the x-intercept, x is negative 2, and then the y is 0. So now we have two points, and that's really useful because now we can find the slope m. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then you can just call this x2, y2, and then just plug everything in. So m is equal to, so y2 minus y1, so you subtract the y's, so 0 minus 4. So 0 minus 4 over, and then x2 minus x1, so you subtract the x's, so negative 2 minus 2. So this will be negative 4 over negative 4. So it's 1. So the slope is 1. How super nice. So now we have the slope. We have the point. We plug it all in, and we are awesome. So y minus, so y1 is 4. m is 1, so times 1, 1 times rather, <laughs> and then x. Uh, x1 is 2, so x minus 2. So that's it. That's the point slope form. I guess you could erase the 1 because 1 times anything is that thing, but I left it. So that's it. You don't want to, like, you know, solve for y. Not yet. Now we want the slope intercept form. So what is that? The slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So basically, now we solve for y. So we just take this and solve for y, and that gives us this answer here. So let's do it. Use a, a different color. Uh, let's try this one. So y minus 4 is equal to, well, 1 times that is just that, so x minus 2. And then uh, we have to solve for y, so just add 4 to both sides. So we end up with y equals x, and then negative 2 plus 4 is just 2. Boom. And that's it. That That's the slope intercept form. So in problems like this, it's easier if you first do this. So you basically write down this formula and then fill in everything you need. And then once you have this, then you solve for y to get the slope intercept form. I think the hardest part about this problem is just knowing the formula and knowing the names, right? So point slope, you have a point and a slope, so you use this formula. Slope intercept, just remember that means solve for y, same thing. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.